Hey, what's up guys? I'm Dan H and welcome to the project. Today we are going to try to program these two Jeep Grand Cherokee RKE's remote keyless entry fobs to this 1998 Jeep Grand Cherokee. Uh, let's cross our fingers and we'll see if this works. All right guys, so take a good look at my driveway. Notice something is missing. Yes, the Commander. That had to go into the shop for its annual New York State inspection, and it did not pass. Luckily, it's at my buddy Gabe's, and he's the best mechanic I know, uh, honest, straight-up guy. And he said, listen, that stupid check gas cap, check engine light, it won't allow it to pass inspection. And you'd think it's a simple fix, um, just an EVAP thing. So he pumped in uh, that smoke test to try to find out where the EVAP leak is and no dice. There is no leaks. It is tighter than a something's something. The frog's ass. It's, uh, it's an electrical problem. There's a break in a wire somewhere and he's got to try to hunt it down. That, that wire, wherever it's broken, isn't, isn't letting the EVAP system know that there's no leaks. I don't know. Stupid Chrysler thing or whatever. I don't know. Anyway, they're troubleshooting the commander and my wife needs something to drive. Um, unfortunately, the commander was the only vehicle that could fit myself, my wife, and our four kids in at one time. I got my wife, I got myself, kid number one, kid number two, kid number three, and kid number four. So when we want to go out now as a family, she piles all the kids in the Grievous, and I follow along in the, uh, in the WJ over there. We take two cars. Now that really sucks. Ooh, a hottie in a Jeep. And she's following me. Here's the problem. Here's why we're getting the key fobs done today. I only have one measly key and fob for this vehicle. And, you know, the uh, the argument, who left the keys last or who lost what or why did you lock the keys in the car? That That's, <laughs> that's got to stop. So I'm going to try to get a couple fobs programmed, get a couple more keys made so we can um, have a civil family travel vehicle and, uh, and not have... Uh, key problems? I don't know. But <laughs> yeah, check this out. Uh, yeah, there is the Grievous packed out with car seats. So it's a, it's a good family vehicle, nice and safe so far, but uh, we got to get these keys done because this one little thing ain't cutting it. All right, guys, let's get into this. So if you have a 96 to 98 Grand Cherokee ZJ, you will not be able to program your key fobs by yourself. You will have to reach out to your dealership or call a locksmith. It won't open. Call a locksmith. That's right, folks, because the 96 Jeep switched over from an IR, infrared frequency, to an RF, a radio frequency. So now your fob communicates with the passenger side lock unlock button via radio waves. And actually, if you look in your passenger side module right here, behind it, it says FCC ID. Your government owns the radio waves that communicates to your ZJ lock and unlock button. So you can't program this yourself. You gotta go to the dealership or a locksmith who has the technology to program these computers. Now this is very important to know. When you remove your door panel, you have to go ahead and reuse your window controls because if you remove your window controls and you put in the junkyard window controls that came on the junkyard door panel, you'll lose the functionality of your key fob. So that right there, illustrated in my ZJ door panel video, is the only way I know how to give yourself key fobs that work. You gotta get the module online, maybe eBay. You gotta get this with key fobs pre-programmed to it. Then it's just plug and play, take your door panel off, put on your lock module, and, oops, <laughs> then you're good to go. And uh, it's okay if I break this one, I don't have key fobs for it. But yeah, that's 96 to 98. Grand Cherokee ZJs. It's also the same for the WJs. Everything is in this module. Now, if you have a 1993, 94, or 1995 ZJ, you should have something that looks like this. It's this little piece with this little black dome in it. Now, this is the infrared frequency, and you could have your keys programmed by yourself. All you gotta do is look no further than the glove box, pop this open, and you should find this baby, your owner's manual. Now, this doesn't have what you need to program an infrared frequency because, well, 
uh, this is the radio frequency, but let's take a look at stuff we can have the dealership program in this. And then at the end of the video, we'll go through the procedure on how to program your 1993 to 1995 key fobs in your infrared system. All right, your 96 to 98 ZJ owner's manual should all have a page similar to this. It's your remote keyless entry page, and these are the programmable electronic features. These ZJs have automatic door locks, remote keyless entry horn signal, a low fuel chime, a remote keyless entry door unlock sequence, and headlights on with the wipers. They're all programmable features that we cannot program ourselves. We got to go to the dealership to have. And one feature I really want is the horn signal when you lock the doors. Um, this one isn't programmed with it. I don't know why, but that's something I wanted to do. So remind me guys to get that horn honking. Now I want to show you something in my XJ real quick. I don't want this to be an XJ video, but I got to show you. All right guys, so again, all your Jeeps that are older than 96 that are RKE equipped is gonna have this little bubble right here somewhere in the overhead console. That means it's infrared and you're gonna have key fobs that are a little bit more tapered at the bottom, usually lock and unlock with a little red light at the top or in the front. You're gonna have to get really close in order to get these Jeeps to lock and unlock because infrared wasn't as good as the radio-based technology. So that's older than 96, but the good thing is you could basically get any key fob and even ones online and program it yourself. Again, we'll get to that at the end of the video. But then we went to these radio-based chips or keys or whatever, and we cannot program these. These are the panic button square-shaped for 96, 7, and 8 ZJs. There's nothing we could do. Got to get them dealer programmed or locksmith programmed. Um, the XJs from 97, 98, and 99, they also moved to this square key fob, and the chip is somewhere in the dome or overhead console. This is the chip. I know a guy on eBay. His handle is One Timberlake. He has programmed key fobs for me before. He's very professional. He can program you some XJ keys, and I'll leave a link in the description below. Hopefully, he's still out there and can program keys for you guys. So that is how I got a couple keys programmed for my XJs. Again, you can't program those because they're radio-based. Um, in 2000 and 2001, XJs moved over to the peanut shape. Same with the WJ. The WJs are peanut shaped. <laughs> We're probably gonna have to do a WJ fob video altogether, but these are the XJ keys. Now, there is one feature that we can program with the XJ keys that I really wanted to try on the ZJ. Unfortunately, it didn't work for me, but I figured I'd show this feature to you guys. If you have an XJ, you could check your manual to see if you could do it. You could program the horn function, and I'll show you that right now. Check this out, guys. We've got Black Beauty's original fob. You lock her, she honks, but you press and hold the lock button for five to 10 seconds, and then you hit the unlock button and watch what we did. We just took off the honk feature. <laughs> now you do the same thing. Press and hold, five to 10 seconds. There you go. She honks at you when she's been programmed. Now, she honks again. So that's a cool feature that I want in the General Grievous ZJ. Unfortunately, we cannot do that for the old General. I don't know why it's different, but you can't program the ZJ keys the same way you program the XJ keys. So it's time to go to the locksmith. Oh yeah, here we go. Pull them into the locksmith. That Smythe, not Smith, dear. That Smythe, not Smith, dear. Look at this guy taking up two spots with this jalopy. <laughs> no plates. I guess if you stole a car, who cares how many spots you take up? Wow. It's a lot of keys. Nice. Well, unfortunately, it looks like the locksmith's computer can't do 98s either. Bummer. Bad news. Unfortunately, the locksmith couldn't program the fobs either. They have a computer programmer from uh, 93 to 97, and then they have a programmer for the WJ. Here we go again with this weird 98 issue. It seems to be a pattern, so uh, I got a strike. The locksmith got a strike. Now they're sending me over to their counterpart in the next town over, who they claim to have um, a computer that, that can program a 98. We'll see if that happens. If this guy strikes, that's strike three. Three strikes, you're out. I might have to uh, cough it up and go to the dealer. Oh, man, I hope not. 
But uh, all right, we're gonna check out locksmith number two. Smith number two. Well, bad news guys. Locksmith says the computer you need to program ZJ keys are old, obsolete German technology. I think he's talking about the DRB3 system. Well, all the locksmiths and dealerships replaced the DRB3 system with newer technology, but unfortunately nobody decided to include the ZJ programming features in those new systems. So we're gonna have to bite the bullet and call a dealership, see if they could program a ZJ key. Uh. All right, well, locksmith number two couldn't do it. We struck out on the day. Shit. Can't win. So I'm uh, gonna have to schedule myself an appointment with the dealership. I'm not looking forward to this, but I called them up and they said that they can do it. Just like all the others, but I guess we'll see what happens tomorrow. Everything else is closed for the day, so uh, see you guys tomorrow. Ooh, for sale. Local guys, 516-532-5954. Give them a call. And good morning, guys. Today is tomorrow. Wait, no. Tomorrow is today, and we are off to the jail. Mornings. I hate mornings. We're off to the dealership to get these key fobs programmed, hopefully. So, um, take a ride to the dealership. We'll see what they say. There we go. That's what we want to see. Express lane three. Okay. We are in line for Savis. All right, well, I'm not really sure how this works. I don't know if it's a COVID thing or a normal thing, but oh, here we go. Hey, I was told to come into Express Lane 3 for uh, key fob servicing. Yep. Cool. All right. Cool. I'm going to give you one for your dashboard, one for your keys. If you can wait in the car until the service advisor comes out, they'll be right with you. Sure. Here we nice. go, dashboard. A 770, keys. my favorite number. All right, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah, you got it, brother. Well, that was easy. Never had service at a dealership before. Kind of feel like a VIP. It's like reverse ballet or something. I put a tag in my own keys. <laughs> we'll see how this pans out. I'm going to drink my coffee. Hey, good morning. Coming in for a key fob? Yeah, I got two keys that need to be programmed. Okay. You have them with you? I have them with me. Okay. Did you purchase them at a Mopar or no? They are factory okay. Jeep keys tested on eBay. Okay, perfect. And okay. they have good batteries. Okay. And what's the mileage in the car right now? 161,773. And going strong. <laughs> Two yeah, two. Okay. I have one that already works, so. Okay. And is it under Teresa or no? <laughs> That's my sister in law. Oh, really? Three owners ago. Okay. That's funny. Well, let me add you in. Have you ever been here with another vehicle or no? I have never been here. Okay, so let me add you in a new customer. What's the first name? Dan. And to program it is $80. Um, you just pay labor for one, so you don't have to pay for two keys. Um, That's great. And you're waiting with it, right? Yeah. 
Okay. What's the wait time? Uh, probably like half hour, 45 minutes tops. It okay. shouldn't take too long. Sweet. Uh, but you're all set. You can leave the keys in there with the new key fobs. I'll let them know. Okay. All right? Great. Thank you. Now what? Is ZJ coming around. What do you think of those headlights? What's up, man? Dan. <laughs> Justin, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> we both have key fob issues, huh? Yep, I broke mine the other day. <laughs> I'm trying to get these programmed. This is great. Small world, guys. Yeah. So, um, do you do the programming? I do not do the programming. Duh! I actually do new car sales. New car sales. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm going to get a business card from you, that's for sure. Definitely. That's definitely. great. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Wow. We meet at a Jeep dealership. <laughs> it is the Jeep that binds us. Yes, it, CJ's all day. Yeah, right? <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> That's great. Great meeting you, man. You too, man. Thanks. Hey, how cool was that? Just met a subscriber at the Jeep dealership. Just so happens he works here, but still, he's got a ZJ, I got a ZJ, we both have broken key fobs, so that's like extra, extra, extra cool. So, thank you so much for subscribing, Justin, really appreciate it. Thanks for saying hi, and thanks for stopping by. And thanks for stopping by. But mainly, stay classy. Thanks for stopping by. Stay classy, I'm Ron Burgundy. Thanks for stopping by. Stay classy. Ron Burgundy. Can I film the process of the fob programming for my YouTube channel? Texting like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, can I can I ask him about it when he's done then? Should run it by him? I just this is a '98. And I'm having a lot of trouble. I don't know if it's going to work. <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not even like. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. Then <laughs> shoot, could be over with. We've done. I, I have. We it has worked in the past, but we don't do it often. All right. So they took the Jeep way in the back. I tried to follow, but it's in a bay, a bay in the back, and uh, <laughs> they're not sure they can program it. Shocker. Uh, they're not sure if the system they have now can do the job because you're supposed to use the DRB programming equipment. That's the Jeep stuff that does uh, ZJs and WJs, and they replace all that stuff with new stuff, and uh, the new stuff might not be able to work. So. I wouldn't have even came here, honestly, if, if I knew they didn't have the right stuff, but they said they did, so I came here. If it doesn't work, they better not charge me. Good news, guys. We got a phone call from the tech, and he said that they can program two. So keep the existing one I have and program one of the other ones, or uh, program two of the new ones, but that's silly. I already have number two programmed, one that says number two on the back, so I figured if he just programs the one that says number one on the back, I'll have a one-two combo. So let's give it a shot, cross our fingers, hopefully he could do it, and then we could end this key fob saga once and for all. All right, guys, they did it. Son of a gun, the Jeep dealership did it. It's got two program key fobs. Now, got a couple things to uh, talk about, so we'll discuss in the car on the way home. Let's just verify this works. Lock, unlock. Lock, unlock. Panic. Panic. Yeah. All right, guys, a couple things to take away from this whole learning experience with these ZJ key fobs. If you have a 1993 to 1997 Jeep Grand Cherokee, you should be able to program your key fobs by yourself in your Jeep with the sequence I'm gonna give you at the very, very end of this video. Sorry, guys, for making you wait but this is a 1998 thing. <laughs> All right, second off, if you have a 1998, you have to go to the dealership or somebody that has the DRB3 scan tool programmer. Now, that's the only thing that could program 
these ZJs. Other things might be able to do it, but I, I'd call ahead to make sure they have the DRB3 scanners. Now those tools are old, they're uh, finicky, and not a lot of people have them anymore. It's been 20 plus years, guys. So uh, definitely call ahead, make sure they have those tools because that's probably what you're gonna need to program uh, a 98 ZJ like they did here with mine. Um, another important thing is if you're going to a dealership who is just completely on the grind and they wanna crank out their, their Jeep fixings as best they can, uh, make sure you have a list of requests before you go in and, uh, and uh, schedule your appointment. Uh, I thought I'd have some time to talk to the tech, pick his brain, have a nice discussion about all this great Jeep technology we're dealing with, but this guy was all business. He didn't even look me in the eye, and I was kind of very disappointed. And uh, when I talked to the sales rep, by the time I relayed some information to her, I, I wanted to have the horn honk every time you lock the Jeep. This Jeep didn't have that. I wanted to see if he could just activate that honk when you lock it with the key fob. But phones were busy. Everybody was in a rush. They finished the Jeep before the tech even realized I wanted it. And again, boom, he was off to the next Jeep. So kind of bittersweet. Got the Jeep fobs programmed, but not exactly what I want. I don't know, Jeep, Jeep my life? <laughs> what are you gonna do? All right, guys, here we go. The moment you 93 to 95 ZJ guys have been waiting for, we are going to simulate a programming of this ZJ using a 1993 Grand Cherokee owner's manual. Thank you, neighbor Terry. We got it from that ZJ right over there. Still rocking and rolling. Go ZJs. So check this out. Here we go. Step one, sit inside the vehicle and close all the doors. Check. Step two, place the ignition in the off position. Check. Open the driver's door and leave it open during this programming procedure. Door open, leg out so it won't close on me from the wind. Check. Move the mechanical door lock lever to the lock position. All right. Check. Door is locked. Turn the ignition to the run position. Run. Aim the transmitter key. I'll turn the air off. Aim the trans... Thank you. Aim the transmitter key at the keyless entry receiver and press the lock button. So we got my little dome. We're going to simulate that. Quiet. Lock. There we go. Hold the button until the light is on and the transmission blinks twice. It will cycle. All right, we're going to press and hold it. Lock. There we go. Press and hold. The transmitter button blinks twice. Then it cycles. Turn the ignition off. Do that within 20 seconds. Check the memory by cycling the locks and door locks on the transmitter. So we're gonna cycle this by locking and lock the doors. You could do this up to four keys. So that is pretty cool. You older ZJ guys get four fobs. I only get two. Um, that's it. That should be simple enough. I'll put a picture of this right here, right now. I'll zoom in for you. And that is gonna be a wrap for this video. All right, guys, that's going to do it for my ZJ key fob video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. You 93 to 95 guys have it a little bit easier. You can get your own fob and program your keys yourself. You just got to follow that procedure I showed you. Good old infrared system. That's 96 to 98 guys that have the radio frequency based system have to go seek help from a dealership or a locksmith that have the DRB3 computer programmer or whatever new technology they use now. But call ahead, make sure they can do it and also discuss prices. Some locksmiths I talked to, they wanted $80 per key. Now the dealership did the right thing. They charged me $80 per session, which means I could program up to two keys for that $80. I, I only needed one key, so I kind of got kind of got gypped. I wish it would have charged me 40, but whatever. I got it done. I'm happy. That's how you do it. So stay tuned for a WJ fob video. That's coming soon. I also got some XJ stuff I want to show you with those fobs, but uh, that'll be in the future in another video. So thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. As always, remember to like, subscribe, and I will catch you on the next project. Peace.